Okay, this is a video for the Unusual Findings Demo. Uh, first thing I'd like to mention is that this here resolution for full screen uh, doesn't actually change resolution. All it does is just scale down the graphics. So I'm recording this at 1440p full screen. <coughs> um, because it can't do 1080p full screen. So, yeah. Might not be a problem for you, but if you're a, a streamer who wants to stream the game, um, it could be something that you might take notice of. Right, well, I think uh, everything looks all right, so I think we will continue on. Okay, two, five, five. Vincent Falco, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? That... I'm grounded. Exactly! And that means no TV, no radio, and no video games. That's so unfair! Are you joking? You and your criminal friends blew away half of Mrs. Johnson's garden. I'm sorry. It was an accident. We didn't know that sodium was so volatile. Vinny, you're a smart kid, and I'm glad you like science. But there are a lot of things to do other than electrocuting, burning, or blowing stuff up. I get the point. I I'm sorry. That's much better. But you are still grounded. So no video games. Do you understand me? I understand. That's much better. See you tomorrow. But just in case you didn't understand me well enough, I'll be taking these cartridges with me. But Dad! Hey, it takes courage to apologize when you did something wrong. You're growing, and I'm proud of you. That means I'm not grounded anymore? Nope, but it reduces your sentence. I don't want you to think that your decisions don't have consequences. Because believe me, they do. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to deal with the results of your actions. Remember, your attitudes toward other people matters. Anyways. I'm locking this door. Good night! Someone's throwing rocks in my window. If I had to guess, it's Nick? Or Tony? Eh, probably Nick. I should open the window to see what's going on. Someone's throwing rocks. Eh, Yeah, well, me too. I think everyone heard about our, uh, experiments near Mrs. Johnson's garden. Then what are you doing here? Are you crazy? The last of the crap Tony needs to make a signal descrambler came in the mail! We're gonna get pay-per-view cable for free! We gotta get to Tony's house! Uh, I'm not so sure, Nick. Three words, man! Naked. Chicks. On TV! Those are four words. But... <sighs> you win. Give me a minute. Just keep it quiet, alright?
My wardrobe is locked, and I don't remember where I left the key. I know, it's weird. But I guess it's the price a man has to pay to keep his privacy. I love this movie concept. It's a perfect blend of sci-fi elements with classic nostalgia. It just works on so many levels. My nightstand only has dirty shoes and some Swamp Man comics. It's my super comfy bed! No comic books hiding below it this time. Talking with lamps is a clear sign of madness. It could be fun to start practicing BMX stunts again. This and the TV are staying put. I won a long legal battle with Dad to have them here. The zip line goes directly to the treehouse window. When Brian Broken Arms Tuscan tried that last year, he earned his nickname. Since then, he doesn't hang out with us anymore. These flowers are colorful. There's the key to my wardrobe! Now I remember. I put it here because my sister is allergic to these flowers. Now that I say it out loud... Man, I sound paranoid. But I'm almost positive she uses my things when I'm out. I should use the... Rad. Hey, my old Roboto battle station! What were you doing there? Dad's been on my case about cleaning this up all week. But now's not the best time. It's full of clothes and old stuff. Why the hell I locked this with the key? Oh yeah, my sister wanted to steal my jacket. I know this is just a pulley. But when I was a little kid, I used to pretend that this was a battle station named Roboto. I wrote Mr. Roboto on it with a marker. Good idea, but I'll need to add some kind of handle I can grip. The window of the treehouse is closed. I should ask Nick to open it or else I'll end up crashing through the window. Hey! What? Can you open the treehouse window? 
Are you gonna use the zip line? Isn't that, like, kinda risky? I mean, you could fall, your dad is going to find you all crippled, then he's going to call my parents, and I don't want that to happen. Oh, what's wrong, Nick? Chicken? Nobody calls me chicken! Then prove it and open the freaking window! Alright, but don't you ever call me chicken again! Noted. Is anyone around? The coast is clear. You are safe to escape. Perfect! It's South Plains at night. What do you expect? Everyone is sleeping or watching TV. Isn't Tony grounded too? Yes, but his grandmother's deaf as a doornail. Remember the time we hit a llama in Tony's basement? She never found it. Yeah, I guess she won't notice us either. Just give me a minute. Okay, but hurry! Okay, this is my one-way ticket out. Let's make this thing spin. Hey, Tony! We're here! Did we miss anything? No, not really. I'm almost done connecting the antenna. Are you sure this is going to work? Why does it even need the antenna if we're trying to pick up cable? I installed a transmitter on the cable box down the street. That way there's no big obvious wires leading right to this house. And believe me, this thing has way more power than we need to watch free cable. You still have those pony bed sheets? Yeah. The pony cartoon has its moments, and my grandmother thinks ponies are cool. If you say so, I guess I'll give it a second chance. I'm sure you're going to like it, and in season two things get much better with the first tooth pony babies and all. Megan really grew as a character. Really? Yeah. Anyways, I would love to keep hearing you talk about ponies, but let's go back to what is important. When are we gonna start watching adult television? After some final adjustments. Can you move the antenna a bit? 
Okay, let me try. It's working! What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of sci-fi movie. From China? What language is this even in? I have no idea. But I didn't build a descrambler, so we could catch the international channel. Let's try another one. Something's wrong. This thing is on every single channel. On the plus side, we can watch Chinese movies. What the hell was that? That wasn't a shooting star. I don't think that was a movie. What do you mean? It could be possible that we just witnessed some sort of distress call from a spaceship that just crashed in the South Plains Greenwoods. I I'm not sure. What if it was just the weirdest coincidence ever? Then what are we waiting for? That wasn't far from here. Let's go find out. But what about the Cable Girls? Look, if that was an alien spaceship, we could be the first humans to meet beings from another planet. Don't you want to be part of human history? But the girls... I'm pretty sure that if we become part of human history, we'll get more girls than if we stay home stealing Cable. You got a point. Let's get moving. According to my calculations, we must be near. Yeah, it smells like burnt ass. It's too bumpy. We'll have to walk from here. It looks like it was hit by lightning. Or a fireball. Maybe the alien did this? No, Vinny was right. It was definitely a lightning strike. It was like that a week ago when I went hiking with my dad. We've got to get over there. But the stream's in the way. This rusty thing controls the flow of the stream. I think this is one of the oldest pines in the woods. What are you, a tree hogger? The vegetation's really dense here. I can't find anything in this bush. Some blue liquid spilled on the ground. It smells funny. I'm not touching that.
can't find anything in this bush. I can't move it. It's too rusty. Let me give it a try. Yeah, this is too rusty. We need something to lube it up. This tree gives me the creeps. Let's see, get uh, that going in the background. Let's see. Uh, And with it. Uh, I think can do anything with the tree. It's a tree, all right, and it's not going anywhere. Look, the bushes are moving. Hello, Mr. Extraterrestrial, is that you? We saw your transmission! We come in peace! They don't... Those are not the aliens we're looking for. Those are wolves. I knew this was a bad idea. Quick! Pretend to be bigger! Wolves almost never attack adults! Go away! I've got a mortgage to pay! Shoo! Shoo! Really? Shut up! It's working! Shoo! Shoo! I have three kids and a boring job! Shoo! This isn't working. Any other plan? I'll charge them. You cover me. Are you sure about this? I saw it in a documentary. A honey badger did this to a group of lions and he escaped. Those aren't lions. We're not honey badgers and this is not a documentary. Let's give it a try. We have nothing to lose. Other than our life. Are you sure we don't have any other option? Okay, those wolves were bad enough, but that sound perturbed me even more. If that was an alien, aliens are loud. We should get away from here before the wolves change their minds. What are you doing here? This is no time to visit the woods, kids. Didn't you know the area's full of wolves? Yeah, we just saw some of them over there. You were lucky they didn't attack you. You better get home. If you do it quick, I won't tell your parents about this. Sir, yes sir. Let's go. Wait! Do you know what this blue liquid is? It was like this when we got here. Did you see or hear anything else unusual tonight? No. Something tells me you're not being honest with me. Does anyone else know that you- What the hell? Run! Let's get to the treehouse. Okay, here's the situation. 
There's a killer alien in town, and we're the only ones that know about it. We should tell the police. We could try, but I don't think they'll believe us. We could at least tell the park rangers that one of their guys was attacked in the woods. That makes sense. I think we should stop it ourselves. Who knows how many people that creature is going to kill before the police realize what's up? Any suggestions on how we're gonna do that? I was thinking of setting a trap. A bear trap. No one can escape a bear trap. I think it would be better if we could ensnare him with a strong net. He seems to have long limbs, so in my opinion, a net would be the more effective option. We could dig a big hole and cover it with leaves. Who do you think you are, Willie E. Coyote? Because your net idea is so much better! Please remind me, what are we trying to catch again? An alien or a shark? Gentlemen, please, there's no need to argue. Look, we don't know anything about this alien, except that it's all gangly and likes to stab people. Maybe we should take a blanket approach, you know? Cover all our bases. We can put together a bigger trap that uses all three ideas. The hole, the net, and the bear trap. At least if it fails, nobody can point fingers. Sounds fair to me. And don't worry about digging the hole. I'm sure the bull will help us with that. He owes me big time. Well, that was the unusual findings, Demo. Uh, I mean, the art style is pretty cool, and the, the artwork is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's a point and click adventure. In the fashion of the old classics, uh, well, the puzzles weren't too difficult. I mean, I figured them out without needing any help or anything. Um, I mean, it, it seems okay. Uh, it's very short, though. Like if you're thinking in terms of length of uh, how long the full game must be, uh, it's probably only a very small snippet. Uh, wasn't really too much that we did. I mean. How many puzzles did we kind of go through? It was crossing the stream, it was quite easy. There was the, um, the zip line, which wasn't really too difficult. I mean, I had to get a part out of the wardrobe, and um, yeah, I mean, maybe I kind of lucked out that I picked up the, uh, the BMX bed. And, I was able to put in two things together. I mean, yeah, he was calling it a um, that round disc shaped thing as a uh, battle station, but he explained that it was actually a pulley. So, yeah, he just kind of put one and one together. And, um, and then, you know, the rest of it was, yeah, it was just using. Um, Intuition and what you were reading in the conversations. Uh, you know, you, you see it all. Oh, you know, I should get Nick to open the window on the, uh, the cabin. So then 
you go and do that and I mean he didn't want to do it first off but if you persist then uh, then he'll do it and, and then we can go on from there so yeah it, it, it wasn't too bad you know I mean obviously we're playing on um, you know story part to stories that we might have uh, heard or seen in the old days, you know, a bit of nostalgia going on there, uh, you know, the movie posters and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure if the uh, style of dialogue actually matches uh, the uh, decade that they're trying to, trying to make the artwork around there, but... Uh, Yeah, it's all right. And I mean that, that artwork, you know, the graphics, the animation, I mean, the amount of work that, that must have gone into it is pretty good. I mean, this is uh, 2022, of course, but, um, you know, still, I mean, doing that stuff by hand, it would have been quite some so, uh, and the ideas that they come up with and how to make something um, look animated or how to put things together to, to come up with a, a full overall picture, you know, I mean, it's, it, it takes a bit of uh, work and talent and um, creativity and, uh, you know, knowledge and skill. So, yeah, hats off to them for that. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, well, you can find the demo for this on um, Steam, on the Steam store page. If you want to give it a try yourself. And, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.